Okay, now we're at part eight of my DVD collection. Let's get right into it. Starting with the 2009 DVD of Pinocchio, the 70th anniversary Platinum Edition. Even though the actual 70th anniversary is in 2010. This is rated G and is 88 minutes long. Here's disc one with the movie, and disc two with the bonus features. Here's the DVD guide. That's pretty much it. And then the Platinum Editions were Snow White and Seven Dwarves and Fantasia, which Fantasia actually got scrapped for the double feature Blu-ray with Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. All right, the next three are Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Here's The Curse of the Black Pearl from 2003. This is a classic right here. Rated PG-13 is 143 minutes. Here's disc one with the movie and disc two with the bonus features and the DVD guide. Curse of the Black Pearl is a good movie. I also have Dead Man's Chest 2 Disc Special Edition. This is Ray PG-13 and it is 150 minutes. Show you disc one with the movie. And here's disc two with the bonus features. The DVD guide. All of them have the guides, which is good. Even though Stranger Tides didn't have one and I don't have that uh, movie. Um, Disney Movie Rewards, which actually expired, and an ad booklet, popcorn, pizza, I think there's a playset, Lost, and a couple other things, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest is a great movie, even though my favorite is still Curse of the Black Pearl, no doubt, and I do like the Lego game, I 100%ed it. Here's At World's End, from 2007. This one's technically a three disc edition, and you'll see why in a moment. So there's disc one and disc two, but it also has the Best Buy bonus disc. There's what the disc itself looks like. Pop it back in the sleeve. This was a Best Buy exclusive, but I didn't get it at Best Buy. I got it at a record shop. The DVD guide. As always, it opens up like this. Disney Movie Rewards, ad booklet. Again, all of the codes are used. I never forget to use any of them. And an ad for Disney Blu-ray. I have Cars on Blu-ray and I have Ratatouille on DVD. And you'll see that one actually in a little bit. If I get to it. I probably can in the 10 minute mark. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is a good movie. It's not the best parts of the Caribbean film, but it was one of the last really good ones. Stranger Tides was just okay. Here's the Polar Express from 2005. Well, 2004 movie. And it's a good time I'm showing this because it's almost Christmas. Rated G is 100 minutes. Here's the disc, which is just disc one. It doesn't actually have disc two in here. So, And I do plan to get the two disc edition to replace this and sell it in the future. And fun fact, this movie, actually, the face modeling was done by Josh Hutcherson, who would later star in the FNAF movie. Except he was voiced by Tom Hanks. Here's Puss in Boots from 2012. I don't have The Last Wish yet, but I'm going to get that soon. This is Ray PG, and it is 90 minutes. Yeah, 90 minutes. There's the boring gray disc. Puss in Boots, the video game. Chuck E. Cheese coupons. Dragon's Live event as well. I thought there was something else on the back. I guess not. But yeah, this is a good movie. Here's Ramon, or Rambo First Blood. I wrote this at Stallone, but Ramon at the same time. But Rambo's First Blood. Rated R is eight, 96 minutes. Here's the flipper disc. Side A is widescreen. And side B is full screen. Here's the DVD guide. Wait, this isn't even a DVD guide. It's the front cover plus a couple pictures. I thought there actually was a guide. Hmm. And then an ad for some other stuff. Like JVC Media. Yeah, First Blood, great movie. I also have First Blood Part 2. I got into these after Rambo got put in Mortal Kombat. Rated R, 95 minutes. Here's Disc 1, which has the movie in widescreen. Disc 2 with the movie in full screen. Here's the DVD guide. Well, again, like... Oh, this actually has the guide. The chapter index. And then an ad for other movies. I have T2, and I'll show that later. 
And lastly, Rambo 3. I don't have Rambo 4 or Last Blood yet, but I hope to get them soon. Rated R, and it is 102 minutes. Disc 1 with the movie widescreen, disc 2 with the movie full screen. This again. Another chapter index, so it actually is a DVD guide. Same as for the same movies, because these all came out around the same time, I think. I haven't actually watched Rambo 3 yet, but I've seen the first two, and they're amazing. Next one's a 2011 DVD of Rango with Johnny Depp. It includes both the theatrical and extended versions. And it comes in a nice orange case. Rated PG, and theatrical version is 107 minutes, and the extended version is 111 minutes. There's boring gray disc. All it did is just add a new ending. Next one is the Pixar movie, the 2007 DVD of Ratatouille. This is rated G and it's 111 minutes. I used to have the video game of this on Xbox 360. The proof of purchase was cut out there for some reason. There's a disc. Look inside for flavorful fun. Add booklet. In which I have cars and Pixar from the collection on Blu-ray. It had an ad in there for them. There's the DVD guide. Yeah, Ratatouille is a great Pixar movie. A lot of people say it's not that good, but I personally love this one. All right, and the next two are regular show DVDs. Here's regular show, the movie from 2015. This is not rated and it is 58 minutes. No, 68 minutes. There's the disc, which you can see me the camera in there. And an ad for other DVDs. Plus the Cartoon Network Racer app. Here's regular show Rigby Pack. This comes with a lot of episodes. I'm not going to read all of them, though. Not rated, and it is 176 minutes. Here's the disc with Rigby on it, but you can kind of barely see it. Add for other DVDs, again. Plus an ad for the regular show Ghostbusters app game, which is no longer a thing. Next one is Rio from the Creators of Ice Age. This comes in a blue case. Rated G, and it is 96 minutes long. There's the disc. Yeah, this is a good movie. Next one is a 2013 DVD of Rise of the Guardians. This is a pretty good movie. Rated PG, and it is 97 minutes. There's the boring gray disc. Yeah, this is a good movie. Next one, this is one of my favorite movies right here. This is, I think, a 1999 DVD of RoboCop. Peter Weller. Rated R, and it is an hour and 43 minutes. Here's the disc. And the DVD guide. This is a phenomenal movie. Next one is a 2005 DVD of Robots. Here's the spine. In the back. This is rated PG and it's 89 minutes. And even though the case says it's the full screen one, the disc is actually widescreen, which was a shocker. Here's the DVD guide. And actually, it's the inside of the case. I keep forgetting it has an inside because I also have this movie on Blu-ray. Yeah. Here's Rugrats Go Wild from 2003. Rated PG, and it is 80 minutes. And this movie has Bruce Willis playing Spike the Dog, which is cool. Yeah, this is a good movie. I don't have the first two yet, but I have seen both of them. Here's The Best of Adam Sandler from Saturday Night Live. This is not rated in 73 minutes. There's the disc, which this is a 2005 reprint. And I also have the 2005 reprint of SNL Best of Mike Myers. But the next one I have is directed from 2003. 76 minutes. Disc. And that one being the best of Will Ferrell. This is probably my favorite one. And this is the last DVD I'm going to show for this part. Not rated in 72 minutes. Here's the disc, which you can see me in the camera on there. And yeah, this is a really funny collection. And that's it for part 8 of my DVD collection. See you in part 9.